Thank you. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages. How you guys doing today? Welcome to CSL Kauai. My name is Charles. I'm a board member here, the new guy on the board. Um, and I help out with the videos sometimes, and I help out with Ron in the back sometimes. And oh, it's lovely to be in service with these two wonderful people, Rev. Reed and Rev. Patrick, if you didn't know. <laughs> um, and I'll be giving you your morning announcements this morning. So. Uh, first and foremost, it's birthday Sunday. There will be cake after service. It's all March birthday. All March birthdays, please stand up. Please stand up. All March birthdays. Yeah. <laughs> March birthdays. March birthdays in the house. All right. So what we are going to do, we're going to sing to you March birthdays. We're going to be happy birthday. No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Happy birthday, March birthdays. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Day to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, March birthdays. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. And many more. All right. And you know what? We have a special announcements from the lovely. Roseanne, come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, as you know, you might know, I'm usually back there in the bookstore. And what's tomorrow? April 1st. So we have the April Science of Mind magazines for sale. They're going like hotcakes. Please, you know, don't delay because once they're gone, they're gone. And I just want to mention there is an article in here, Seven Spiritual Strategies Along the Way to Healing. So if you need healing in any way, hmm, this is it, and it's only $5. Good job. Good job. Thank you so much. I'm in the feeling that somebody needs some healing. Let's go ahead and get, get an addition to this. Right? <laughs> All right, so... Ladies and gentlemen, the, the Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz, one of my favorite books, is being facilitated and studied and, uh, by Michelle LeMay, uh, um, the, um, the practitioner Michelle LeMay, uh, Tuesdays, April 16th and April 23rd, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Come and check it out. It's $20 per class at the door and $35 in advance, so you get to save $5 if you pay in advance. And it is, I mean, those, that, like, The Four Agreements is one of those life-changing books that just gives you a very, like, it, it can, if you apply the wisdom, and give you a very strong spiritual foundation. Love it. Uh, next Sunday is Rap with the Revs, directly after service. And it's a social, and these, and you guys get to talk with uh, the wonderful Red Reed and Red Patrick and, and everyone in the CSL community that comes along. And uh, God bless you. And membership, if you want to join the CSL Kauai Ohana, talk to Rev Rita, Rev Patrick, or any of us in the, uh, on the board or anyone that you see even around. Membership coordinator uh, is Michelle LeMay. You can definitely talk to her. Our next membership Sunday is April 21st. When we get an opportunity to officially welcome new members in the Ohana with the ceremony and a song. Oh, my gosh. I remember my <sighs> Rev Rita. She made me cry. Oh, my goodness. It was so special. Membership forms are in the back. They look like this, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so please become a member of the Ohana. It's like the best club ever. <laughs> All right, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, our spiritual directors, Rev. Rita and Rev. Patrick. <laughs> yeah. And not that yeah. I don't love all of you in the front row, but um, <laughs> not that it's much. Not <laughs> yeah, I'm going, I want to see more of you. There we go. So how is everyone? Aloha. Aloha. Ooh, who was here last week? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not taking a roll. I'm just, I'm just, and the rest of you? No, I'm just kidding. Um, hey. So um, the reason I said that is because, uh, what, do you remember who we were at that time? Just to let you know. What, what, what did we find out? We were perv. Oh, wow, that was energetic. You were much more. We were perfect, whole, and complete. That's right. Oh. And the light is on. 
There we go. So um, welcome. And this is also our time of uh, meditation. Uh, med not meditation, but our time of lighting the peace candle. So I would like to do that. And I would also like to thank DJ, who put a fancy schmancy little thing. Uh-huh. No more just picking up like that. We have, we're getting good here. And behind me, just so you'll know before we get started, ah, peace, is the wonderful Barbara Davis. And I, I just didn't want that. And Luis will be on drums as well. So let me hang this back up. Whoops. Yeah. So everyone, let's just take a breath, all right? And let's center in our hearts. <sighs> breathing, slowing our breathing down and just allowing ourselves to center in that beautiful place of the heart where peace always resides, beginning with us. Continuing with this wonderful, wonderful vibration that these beautiful singing bowls provide and that Rita has so eloquently played for us. Just remembering that there is that place that each and every one of us can always, always go to. It is that place of the heart that knows only peace, that knows only love. And knowing that that energy that is created in this room does not stay in this room. It goes out into the world from this place, from this heart center, knowing that peace begins with me, begins with each and every one of us, and ripples off into the world for all, for all people, all places, all things. And with that, we know that is so true with such gratitude as together we say. And That's so it is. is. Mm. Thank you. I set my peace over the mountains. I set my peace over the sea. I set my peace up in the heavens. And it returns to me. I set my love over the mountains I send my love over the sea I send my love up to the heavens and it returns to me I send my joy over the mountains I send my joy I send my joy up to the heavens, and it returns to me. I send my love over the mountains. I send my love over the sea. I send my love up to the heavens. 
Well, welcome. And if you've just come in the door, you're at CSL Kauai. Where we practice the science of mind and spirit or quantum physics or love, whatever you want to call it. It is a powerful teaching that lets us know that the power and presence of the divine is right where we are. It is right where we are. And that's where we move from, right from that center of the heart, that center of love. Christ consciousness, whatever you want to call it, it's that love that permeates all existence that we can get, we can tap into at any time and live our lives from that place and create the experiences in our lives that we want to create. So it's a powerful, beautiful thing to know who you are and what you are and that you are magnificent because you are a divine idea in the mind of the universe, in the mind of God, whatever you want to call it, it's one thing. So thank you for being here. Yes. Ah, and we allow you that opportunity that you love so much, and that's to change if you want to, or, or you know, be the change, as it were. So who is here for the very first time? I know who you are because we recognize you. How do we know? By your chalet. The chalet. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And so we know something about you that we would like to share, if you don't mind. It's not too revealing, but it's pretty fantastic, uh, in my opinion. So let me just make sure I have all the notes on everybody. Oh, the, there you... Oh, <laughs> whoa. Okay, so shall we... Um, yes, so let, let's let them know what we know. You ready? You are magnificent! magnificent. You oh. are magnificent. And you are relieved, aren't you? That Yes, yes. So we know that about you simply because we know it about ourselves. There is no way that I can see your magnificence. There's no way we, I can see peace unless it starts with us individually. So we know that about ourselves. So let's all say it together. Let's put our hands on our heart if we feel like it and say, I am magnificent. Oh, and if it doesn't get any better, because it does. There's this camera back there with a cameraman and sound. I mean, it's like professional here. And it's called live streaming. So there's a whole bunch of people watching us in our service doing what we do. But they are either on the mainland or they are at their house and didn't feel like getting in here by 9 o'clock. So let's all say and let them know who they are as well. You ready? You are magnificent. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Let's look to your left, to your right. Let somebody know that they're magnificent. I know Kamala is magnificent. I know, I know you're magnificent. You know you're are magnificent. magnificent. It's good to see you. Love you. You're Love you, sweetie. Mm. You're, mag you're magnificent. magnificent. So are you, and so is your I little daughter. You're magnificent. Oh, oh my. Mm. You are magnificent. <laughs> I know. All right, let's get on our feet, our magnificent feet, and have our opening song. Woo, let's the energy go. My good is my God, my God is my good. All the good there is belongs to me. My good is my God, my God is my good. All the good there is belongs to me. That's my truth. Capital T. It's all about living free. My good is my God. My good is my God. I have all I'll ever need. My good is my God. Ah, so I settle in that truth that my good is my God, and my God is my good, and all there is is God, life, for, life force, source, whatever we want to call it. It doesn't matter. It's one thing. It is the love, the love, the divine love that resides within each and every one of us, and it's here present today. As I breathe into it, it is breathing me. It is breathing each one of us in every single solitary moment, so I just surrender to it. I let go, and I let it be who I am in every moment as we progress through this service I know that it is here every step of the way within each of us listening speaking singing praying whatever we're doing it's the spirit moving through us so I am so grateful to know this and to know that this time together 
is perfect in every way, individually for us and collectively for us, because we are all living in that one mind, that one spirit, that one love. So whatever we experience here is felt all over the planet and out into the universe. What a spectacular thing. I am so grateful. As I take this word I've spoken and I release it, I let it go and I accept it and allow it as we affirm together. And so So it is. is. My good is my God, my God is my good. All that there is belongs to me. My good is my God, my God is my good. All that there is belongs to me. That's my truth with a capital T. It's all about living free. My good is my God. Good morning, magnificent beings. My name is Roseanne Jones, and I am a certified licensed practitioner at CSL Kauai. And it's my privilege today to bring us into a meditation, some quiet time. But as you settle into your seats and plant your feet on the floor and know that you are in a safe place and prepare for meditation, maybe by taking a couple of deep breaths in and out. I have a quote for you to, if you choose to take into the meditation. It's by the amazing poet, spiritual poet of today, Mark Nepo. When we heal ourselves, we heal the world. When we heal ourselves, we heal the world. Enjoy your quiet time.
When we heal ourselves, we heal the world. And I know that there is one truth, that there is one creator of everything in the universe, in everything on planet Earth. There is one source of all life, of all healing of life. And this is the creator, this is the source. You can call it God, whatever you choose. But it is everywhere. It is omnipresent. And it is omnipresent in me. It speaks through me as I speak to you right now. It is the love that I express, the healing that I express, that is coming through to you, to each person here right now. And because it's in me, it's in each person sitting here and each person far away. It is our birthright, our knowledge and acceptance that God resides and works through each of us. And knowing this, I know there is a healing power in God right here, right now that works through each of us. And as the blood flows through our system and the cells of our bodies work to heal anything that goes wrong, that is the force of God. That is the knowledge of healing that resides in each one of us right now, no matter what kind of healing that anyone needs it's here for us to use so whether it's healing of the body healing of the back healing of disease whether it's healing of relationships whether it's healing of knowing the truth of who and what each person is they are a walking, talking instrument of God, expressing themselves through God. Whether it he is healing of financial matters and knowing that all is good, all is God. And the creative expression of God is running right through each of us at every moment, creating our lives creating healings, creating love, opening pathways, if each of us chooses to allow it to happen and to forget the programs of the past and know that it is in our power because it is God running in and through each of us. I am so grateful. I am so grateful for the healing process that God God provides. I am so grateful for the abundance, the prosperity, the loving relationships, the love that each of us expresses outward and inward to our very own selves. So I release my word into the law that always lovingly says yes, yes to our deepest beliefs as we affirm together and so it is. In this moment, in this place, I remember who I am. Letting fear and worry wash away from me, I open my eyes to see. There is only love, there is only love, love that heals, love that sets us free, there is only love, when I lose myself, 
When I feel like I've lost my way When I go inside and quiet my mind I can hear Spirit gently say There is only love There is only love Love that heals Love that sets us free There is only love Love that heals, love that sets us free. There is only love. Wow. Thank you, Barbara. That was beautiful. Roseanne, thank you for that beautiful treatment. And thank you, everyone, for being here today. It's a whole new world. I'm not going to sing the song, but I wish I had, but I, I just didn't think of it till the last minute. <laughs> Why was that? I don't know. I should have known by the title, right? <laughs> anyway, we'll save it for another time. So um, I've been thinking about a lot of things lately um, to do with this idea of being in a whole new world and changing and all of that. And what I, I've come to understand, like especially about our teaching, that people come to this teaching, the science of mind and spirit, and they have to change. They have to change. If they don't change, then they usually just leave and go do something else or whatever. But this, this philosophy asks us to change. It asks, asks us to do something different for our lives, to, to be something different. So what is change? Change is creating a new identity. And I said this before here, I am not the same person that I was when I walked into my first Science of Mind Church 20 years ago. I've been through so many modalities and teachings and from very fundamental teachings to, you know, I started in Catholicism and then very fundamental teachings to, you know, out there teachings to crystals to all of it. And what I found is that I just, it always came back to me. It always came back to, I was the one that was going to make it happen for me. I was the one. And when I finally, and we've used the word God here for all of you that are new. I just want to reiterate what that means. We use the word God here a lot this morning. And to us in our teaching, God is not a man or a woman up on a cloud somewhere or some deity that we worship. God is a principle. It is a presence. It is something which lives and breathes the whole universe, and it is who and what we are. We are all that presence and that beautiful and divine intelligence and that amazing power. It is who we are. It is what birthed us, and we have all its attributes. As, as um, Rumi said, we are the ocean in a drop, and that drop is not small. A drop is the whole ocean. So within us, we are all connected, as we say in quantum physics now, to this field of energy. We're all in it. We're swimming in it and, and living and breathing it. And sometimes we just don't know it. We don't know it. Like we're like a fish in water that doesn't know it's in water, right? <laughs> I don't know how that works. I heard that somewhere. I don't even know what the real quote is. But uh, anyway, but we're in it, but we don't know it. And that's where the change has to take place because we've been... As I've said before, we've been programmed to think different things. Like I was programmed to think all kinds of things about God and myself and, and you know, that I was not a really good person and, you know, and I had sinned and I had done all these things that made me not, you know, perfect or not godlike. So I had to cast off that identity and create a new one for myself. And that is what changes, creating a new identity. And it's possible. You can you're never too old to do this. <laughs> right, Ruth? <laughs> I'm pulling her out because I, <laughs> I, I am so respectful of this woman who, who just walked into our center one day and comes all the time. And, and, and then I've seen other people that like, 
they can't do it. They just can't, they can't create that new identity for themselves. But she's just finding her real identity, which always was there, right? And just birthing more and more into it because we're always growing and expanding. So that's part of the change too. We're always growing and expanding. It's never, like, it's never enough. I mean, you know, it's never, it's never, we always want more. We always want to be more. That's what we are because we're creative beings. So whatever we're doing in our lives, we want more of it. We want to, we want, we want to express more. We want to create more. We want to love more. We want to have health more. We want all of those things. And we're never too old to do that. And it's an eternal process. So what I understand is it just goes on and on and on. Did, was anybody here for the movie on Friday? We watched Resurrection with Ellen Burstyn. What an amazing film about eternity and about the, uh, uh, the ability to heal and the ability to heal from within. But sometimes, like I said, we don't want to make the change. And one of the great parts of the movie was when somebody came to her that she couldn't heal and the person asked her why and she said, he just, he needs this right now. He needs this right now. And there's nothing I can do about that. So nobody can heal us if we don't heal ourselves. And what does that look like? Some people heal and they don't have a physical healing, but they heal and then they go on to transcend and, and, that, and they've healed. So what is healing? It's a, new, it's a new state of consciousness. It's remembering who we are. I've worked with people and heard about people that, that on, their, on, their, on their deathbeds, they've made a change and they're ready to go. And so it's, it's complete. It's totally complete. And it just goes on then from there. And wow, what a great adventure. I'm not going there soon, but, <laughs> but I, yeah, I don't go there soon. I'm very happy here because I believe we can do, like Anita Marjoni said, that we can do it all here. When she died, the, uh, who wrote, uh, what's the name of her book? Uh, Dying to be, yeah. When she, when she passed and went to the other realm, you know, for a short time, when she came and realized she had to come back, she realized what her greatest teaching was, this, was that she could do all that here. She didn't have to leave to do it, that it was possible to do it here. But we can't do it if we don't want to change. So there's a quote I know from the Bible that says, whosoever shall lose his life shall find it. It's something like that, right? We, stu we do study the Bible here not at this particular CSL, but we, we read from the Bible because we understand it as a metaphorical and mystical and metaphysical Bible, not as literal. So what does it mean to lose your life? It doesn't mean about dying. For us, it means that you have to lose your old life in order to get a new life. <laughs> so if you're in that process right now of wanting something different for yourself, you're going to have to change. You're going to have to give up something. And it's not a torturous thing. It's, it's, it's like giving up your identity that says, I have to be sick. Giving up your identity that says, I have to be poor. Giving up your identity that says, I don't have any love in my life. Giving up your identity that says, you know, I, I am not creative. Any of those things that you have to just give those things up and create something new. Now, some people will say, well, how do I do that? That's really hard. I mean, I've been doing this for, you know, 60 years and, and well, you got to do it. I just um, heard a talk by Joe Dispenza where he was working with someone who was severely abused when they were a child, severely abused, I mean severely. And they were saying how they were doing his med her med the meditations, they could not trust and let go, they could not feel the, the love and all of that. And he didn't mince words with this person. He said, I've worked with lots of people that have been through atrocities that I can't even imagine how a human being could go through that. And yet they were willing to change. They were willing to let go of the identity, their identity of being abused and actually create a new life for themselves, a new identity. And he said, do you want to be that identity for the rest of your life? Maybe you do, and there's nothing wrong with that if you do, and, and that's, that's okay for you. But if you want something different, you can't just say, I want something different. You have to create that new you, that new you. And there is one power in the universe that can do that, and it is the power of love. It's the power of self-love. And it comes to your aid when you ask for it. It's like the story of, you know, the prodigal son, you know, when the person turns to, to the d divinity, turns to God, turns to the whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. I'm, I'm using lots of words. When you turn to it, the universe, it turns back to you, and, and it's a mirror. It just... It's like, I was always here, and now you're using me, and now let's get to work together. And it's love. It's pure, pure 
love. That's what it is. And love is the propelling force of the universe. And love is what makes the change. And love will carry us through anything. And we're not too old. Like I said before, we're not too sick. We're not too anything. <laughs> we are everything. Ernest Holmes wrote, uh, where is it? He wrote, I always do this because I, I, I mix up my talk and I don't have it. Anyway, he says something like this. <laughs> okay, uh, whatever it is. He said, um, we don't like, we're not depending like, like a, a reed shaken in the wind. I'm going to paraphrase it. It's not a reed shaken in the wind that can just blow this way and that way. It's all power. It's all power. It is everything. It is all power. And there's, that's the power that we depend on. And that power that he's talking about, all power, is love. That's what it is. And love, like I said, will carry us through everything. So how do we do it? Okay, well, everybody has different methods to get through this new identity, this whole new world thing, right? Everybody has a different method. We have a method called spiritual mind treatment. Now, we also have meditation and all kinds of things like that. But the thing is about spiritual mind treatment is that you have to do it. You have to feel it. And you have to continue to do it until the change is taking place. Just like in these meditations they're doing now, you have to continue to do it until you feel different. If you come out of a meditation and you're the same person that went in, then you have not done the meditation. You have not done it. You've done it, but... If you come out feeling the same feelings, then you need to go back in. If you come out from a spiritual mind treatment feeling the same, then you need to go back in and do it again and do it again because what are we doing? And we know this now because scientifically they're proving it. We're rewiring ourselves, right? Because we have these programs and these neurons that are going together like this and they're all in this old way of thinking and now we're bringing them into a new way of thinking. So in spiritual mind treatment, what we do is we bring ourselves to a place what we call the absolute, um, quantum physics might call it the unknown, no one, no thing, the pure energy that's never been touched by anything. It's the absolute. We have to turn away from the material world and we have to bring ourselves to that place and we have to find it. It's here, but we have to stay there till we feel it. Because if we do a spiritual mind treatment and we're not feeling that, then we might as well just forget the rest of the treatment. So the most important part for me as spiritual mind treatments are step one and two. I know that God is all there is. I recognize his power everywhere, and I recognize it as me. And until I can actually hone into that and feel that, then I won't, I won't move on. And the more you do it, the quicker and easier it gets. And then once you're there, then you can declare your health. You can declare your wealth. You can declare your beautiful relationship with your husband or wife or whatever. You can declare all that is good because it's coming from a pure energy that's never been touched by anything. And as we know, there's all possibility there. And it's only our minds and our hearts and working together that are creating all those possibilities. So it's all open and, 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 and unlimited. It's all power. So once we get to that place, then we get to do some really good work. But until we can bring ourselves to that place, we're just like, we're just striking like throwing spaghetti against the wall. I'm Italian, okay. <laughs> well, I don't think I've ever thrown spaghetti against the wall. The only time I remember that was in that film, The Odd Couple, when the guy threw the spaghetti when he was mad. But no, you know what I'm saying though. We're just tossing it out there and hoping that it's gonna happen. And this is a very definite thing. And I wouldn't say it if I hadn't experienced it and I know that it works every day in my life, I experience it. And I know people that experience it and it works. I know people that meditate very deeply and, and they come out and they've changed their lives. They've actually had spontaneous remissions and all this stuff. How is this happening? It's happening because they're creating a new world. They're creating a new identity and their identity is not, is not you know, they're not identifying with that anymore. They're somebody new and that's what we have to do. So one of the things I just want to just say too before I close, is it's like a whole class. It could be a whole class. You know, when you go into the classes of, of Science of Mind or any classes, that's where your changes take place because you really have to work it then. You can't just, you know, we sit here on a Sunday, we get inspired maybe, and then we go out and either we use it or we don't use it, depending on who we are. But um, so you have to become the thing. Ernest Holmes wrote, everyone automatically attracts to himself just what he is. And we may set it down that wherever we are, however intolerable the situation may be, we are just where we belong interesting. There is no power in the universe but ourselves that can free us. 
So we're doing this thing. We're changing our we're changing our lives. We're changing our mind about it. We're creating a new identity. And the thing that's really important, and I read this in, in quantum physics too, is that we have to, and we say it all the time. There's something called outlining. We have to get out of the way of how it's going to happen. You cannot say that it's going to be this particular person, this particular house, this particular, you know, whatever it is. You have to get out of the way because this intelligence that's working through us, it knows how to put the pieces together. And the minute we get in the middle of it, of putting the pieces together, trying to put them together or trying to figure it out, that's the minute that we have to go back into treatment again because what we've done is we've stopped the energy. We've stopped it. And that's the place where oh, surrender and faith takes place and just letting go and allowing. And then if we've done our work, our meditation, our treatment, whatever we're doing, and the doubts and the fears come up again, we have to go back in. We have to go back in and we have to keep going back in and going back in. And there's no better place than starting here. The problem we have in this world is we're materialists, right? We look out and we think that's reality. And we're the very ones that created that reality. And we're all looking at it differently, right? We're all looking at it differently and we're all seeing it differently. Until we get this, and I, I mean, I saw back, I wrote a blog this morning and I said there was a quote by Socrates saying the same thing. And then, you know, Ernest Holmes, you know, uh, thousands of years later, Jesus, all these people, then, you know, Martin Luther King, you know, Joe Dispenza, whoever, they're all saying the same thing. They're saying the same thing, so there must be something to it, right? Are you ready? Are you ready for the change? Are you ready to allow yourself to say, I can be someone different and trust it and have faith with it? And, and the other thing is, we can't do it for somebody else as far as, we can't, like, say, you know, bring somebody back that decided to leave, or, you know, we know there's a divine pattern. I heard my mentor talking about this this morning who just lost his, his daughter. There is a divine pattern to everything. And we don't really know what somebody else's journey is and why they're going or where they're going. We don't know. We only know what we can do. And like um, Roseanne said in that quote, once we heal ourselves, we can heal the world because we've been healed and we have something to bring to the show. We don't have anything to bring if we're broken. So we have to start with ourselves. It's important. So I'd like to close this whole thing with a spiritual mind treatment, if you don't mind. And um, Ernest Holmes wrote, this is the whole new world. A man, woman, I put the woman in, um, <laughs> must bring him or herself to the place in mind where there is no misfortune, no calamity, no accidents, no trouble, no confusion, where there is nothing but plenty, peace, power, life, and truth. He or she should definitely daily, and probably more than once a day, using in their own name, declare the truth about him or herself, realizing that they are reflecting these statements into a consciousness and that they, it will be operated upon. That's the part we have to trust. That when we do it, when we say it, when we declare it, when we are one with this presence, and we are one, we can't get away from it, guys. It's here. It's just a matter of whether we're willing to open up to it. That when we throw it out there, when we declare it, we have to trust that it's operated upon. Because when we try to do it, forget it. So, <laughs> as I said before. So let's just take a deep breath and center in our hearts. I'm going to play my beautiful bowl here to get us centered. So what I know from this place of the heart that breathes and lives in the one mind, the one heart, which is what I am, a beautiful manifestation of this thing called life, this thing called the one power, this thing called God, source, universe, that is what I am. And I know that same essence, that same beautiful divine essence as each and every person here and beyond and beyond. 
this unlimited essence of power and light and love is our true identity. And it is limitless. There is nothing that it cannot do through us when we understand that that is who we are. And I do understand that that is who I am. I claim it and I live it and breathe it. And I claim it and know it for each and every person here and beyond. And so I know that in this moment, a change has already taken place and that life is to us as we are to it. And I know that we are expanding into new and amazing experiences right here and right now, each of us individually, perfect for us and perfect for the collective whole, the tapestry of life that is living and breathing through each of us also. We all play our parts. So I am grateful in advance for the new adventures, for the new experiences, for the new life, for the one power that operates through it all and brings everything to wholeness and light every single solitary moment. I'm grateful for all the wishes and dreams that are coming true right here and right now that have already come true and are just, we're walking with it. We're, we're moving with it. So it has to be. So I know from this place, we get to walk out into our worlds and live it. That is the most important thing, to walk out into our worlds and live it as if it were already so, giving deep gratitude for the fulfillment of this beautiful promise that's been made to us, that we can be all, do all, have all, if we are willing to become it. I am grateful for that, and I am grateful for this beautiful thing called life. <sighs> so I just take this word I have spoken. I let it go, and let it be manifested individually perfect for each and every person here, as I just affirm. And so it is. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Barbara, take it. by Blue Sky Pie. If you want to feel beautiful, look for the beauty in someone else. Your eyes are mirrors reflecting their tears and their smiles. If you want to be in love, send your love out to everyone. Love's a boomerang, let it come back to you, give it wings. Crack open that crazy heart. Open super wide, super's gonna fall inside. Na 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 na. All hearts combine, so open up wide. Love can't help but find love, love shines so bright, oh how kind hearts shine, oh how kind hearts shine, na 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 na. If you want to feel beautiful, look for the beauty in someone else, your eyes are mirrors reflecting their tears and their if you want to be in love, send your love out to everyone. Love's a boomerang, let it come back to you, give it wings. So if you want to feel beautiful, look for the beauty in someone else. Your eyes are mirrors reflecting their tears and their smiles. And if you want to be in love, send your love out to everyone. 
Love's a boomerang, let it come back to you, give it wings. Love's a boomerang, let it come back to you, give it wings. Love's a boomerang, let it come back to you, give it wings. Na 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 na. Yeah. Boomerang. 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 Back at you. Back at you. Oh. Before I start, I learned something new this week I have to share with you. We started our kids in arts. And I was taught some kind of hip thing that, that I could use. And uh, it was so incredible that we asked them to say something, and they said, well, whatever you do, don't yuck on my yum. Don't yuck on my yum. And I'm like, oh my God. I will use that everywhere. It's like we say, you know, as you get older, don't burst my bubble. But no, this, don't yuck my yum, man. I got, I got some yummy life going on. Don't yuck it up. Don't yuck it up. Ah. Anyway, where was I? If, if you, I was being yum. If you're here for the first time, once again, he's always like this. So th there's no going around it. So last week, this whole month we've been talking about wholeness. And last week we were talking about being perfect, whole, and complete and to take that into our lives. And if you remember correctly, I was not letting anybody leave until you felt that. <laughs> How'd that work for you? They go, oh, yes, we do feel it, Patrick. Oh, God, get it out of this door. Um, so this week, <laughs> so did you use it this week? In, like, did you, every situation you walked into, you walked into the doctor, you walked into the store, you walked into the person not doing what you think they should be doing, you know, all the behavior that, that if they could just do it better, then, then you would be okay. You would be perfect, whole, and complete if you would just get yourself together. Yeah. So, this is what Tony Robbins, anybody know who Tony is? Yeah, Tony, Tony. If you talk about it, it's a dream. If you envision it, it's possible. Uh -huh. But if you schedule it, it's real. So how many have been in all, all of these areas? We've been in the one, the dream state. Oh, I used to love the dream state. It was so noncommittal. <laughs> I have a dream. I have a dream. Do you have a plan? No, no, I'm just going to keep dreaming because as long as I keep dreaming, I don't, I don't have to commit to any of it. So, so therefore, if it doesn't come out, it's okay because I never really committed to it. I've just been dreaming, you know, waking up. Okay, so bet if we envision it, oh, nothing better than a vision. You're sitting right now in a vision. This was a vision. Oh, I just got God bumps. But you got to schedule it. And as Rita was saying, not outline it, but you got to schedule it. And what that means for me is that I have a dream, I can see it, now I have to take action. I have to make a decision. And what I have been learning lately for me personally, and we always talk from ourselves, right? What good is it to talk about you if I can't talk about myself, right? Here's the deal. I am taking a stand. Do you know what that feels like? Have you ever done that? It's like, I'm going to take a stand. You may not like it. As a matter of fact, you may hate it. But I'm going to make one. I'm going to make a stand. And I'm going to finally remember who I am. And when I don't remember who I am, I'm going to remember again. Mary Magdalene, by the way, is, there's a movie coming out this week. Who knew? But I got a snuck a little quote from the uh, trailer. Ah, and she says, the world will only change as we change. 
the world will only change as we change. How many of us woke up today and said, wow, a whole new world. We do get caught, at least I do. There's that we, we thing again that is such a habit to say. Clumping you all in with me, that's not even fair. I woke up this morning. I woke up this morning. But something happened to me that, you know, it's one of those things where Rita will probably go, oh, no, 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 he's not going to. But I woke up, <laughs> and she was next to me. No, I digressed again and again. Okay, so here we go. I woke up, and we just, and we, we're a crazy little family. We wake up, and then she says, here, here's Joe Dispenza. And so... <laughs> push, and then we go into a Joe Dispenza meditation. It's just kind of a new thing. It's kind of a wake-up thing. And so as, as I came out of the meditation, I thought, is this going to be another just day like planned, you know, a whole new, is it, or is it a whole new world? And our little cat, not that I'm going to mention our Prince Krishna, but he um, was out in the garage. It's his new, like, pad that he, um, that he has. So he, she got up, let him out, and he... Uh, jumped on the bed. But I had to go. It's like 5.30. And I was like hearing bells. It was like music. It was, it was uh, wonderful. I like to incorporate my environment. Um, so, just so you think, doesn't he hear that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so, but anyway, so he jumps up and it's out of rhythm, man. I got to get up. It's 5.30. Joe Dispenza now takes a half an hour. We get up at 5 a.m. So please, feeling sorry for you getting here at 9.00? not. Um, so, um, so we get up at 5 a.m. to do all of our spiritual practice and our stuff. So here he is. He jumps up, and then I go, Krishna, and then he gets so comfortable on top of Rita. And all of a sudden, he's... And all of a sudden, I'm going, wow, this is going to be... And I stopped for a moment. And I said... This is never going to happen exactly the same way again. And there will be a day that I look back in my life and go, I wish I had given it the time that it needs to be given. And yeah, I got to get up and my coffee's calling me and a whole bunch of stuff is happening. I'm not going to get too detailed. <laughs> but I, I did have to get out of bed, right? So, but here's this cat and here's this experience with the three of us. And I went, this wasn't planned. And I got to get going. But you know what? This is life happening right here. And I'm going to take every moment of it. I'm going to sip every part of that new moment, that new world. And I'm going to enjoy it because I may not always have it. You know? Just in case. So the world will only change as we change. Do you believe that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, do you practice that? So Adar is the only one in the room. <laughs> the, the, she, there, go Adara. Um, and the reason I say that is because um, it is nice thought that we say that it starts with us. But it really does start with us when we, when we want a change to take place. I have to rise up now like I never have before. I have to take a stand now that I'm going to change my world no matter what you do. No matter what our government does. No matter what anything happens. Whatever's happening. I'm going to change my world because I can. And I'm going to have to trust that it's like the ripple throwing the rock into the river and it, and it ripples out to you. But if I keep waiting for my world to change before I can be happy, before I can make agreements to myself, before I can do any of that, then I'm going to be waiting a long time and I'm going to be really honest with you. It is always nice when somebody else goes first. Because then you kind of pave the way and, and we're all leaders. We're all leaders in this room. I love this... Uh, this idea that I just saw this, that, that there's only one of me, as this is what people will say, there's only one of me. How is that enough to change the big world out there? There's only one of me. And we've been into, there's only been, one, you know, there's only me. And what's the point? What's, what, why do it? Why bother? I'll tell you why bother, because you can. 
because you're the power of the universe. And as, as Ernest Holmes says, one alone with the infinite constitutes a complete majority. I will say it again. One alone with the infinite constitutes a complete majority. Stop waiting why those people aren't signing the petitions. Stop, you know, waiting for somebody else to do it. You do it. They even bring up our, you know, Jesus, Jesus, yes. He already did it. He did it. Or didn't do it, whatever your belief system is. He did it. It's your turn. What I've done, you can do, and more. Not what I've done, you can maybe do sometime if you would ever be as good as me. Uh, and no, it said, listen, I'm going to pass a message to you from love. It's your turn. And I heard that so loud and clear this morning when I was thinking of a whole new world. I thought, wow. And there's quote after quote. Leo Tolstoy, right? Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Wayne Dyer, change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. That's all we keep doing because we are in the beautiful dream state. We're in the vision. I can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Now move. If you see it and you believe it, then you can move towards it. Does that make sense? I think it, there's a part of us, part of me, that, um, and you know what? Here's the deal. I'm kind of with Brene Brown. This politically correct stuff hasn't been really working anyway, has it? We, I invite you. Uh, has, that, has that made you grow even more, uh, more? I get the whole we thing too, but I just have to let you know that sometimes we are in this together. We are in this together. Whether or not you like it or not, and you want to know why? Because we come from the same source. On that explosion of that big bang that people think about that wasn't even the beginning, we all shared the same substance. And then we said, meet you over at CSL Kauai, yeah? <laughs> 2000. 2019, I'll be right there for you. 2013, I'll meet you there. And you're like, yeah, but we're just particles. We're just particles right now. That's who we are. So when I say we, man, we are in this together. And if you want to be in it together, that's great. And if you don't, I love you too. This isn't a, 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 a teaching that forces everything, but I'm going to tell you what it is. There's a new, there's a new sheriff in town. It's Rita and Patrick, the new sheriffs, the spiritual sheriffs, because it's time. It's time. Wow. It makes me think of a song. <laughs> a whole new world. No, um, but I do love one of the, um, this is, listen to some of these words for me. A whole new world, a dazzling place I never knew. Let's go there. But when I'm way up here, it's crystal clear that I'm better than all of you. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's, when I'm crystal clear, this is, means consciousness. Oh, no, she didn't. Look at her yucking on my yum. Um, so... No, she's yumming on my yum. That, I, you know where I'm going afterwards, home, with her. So, um, but there's a whole new world, but when I might appear, it's crystal clear. That means that when you're not in the muck, you can see clearly. When you're up there, oh, unbelievable sights, indescribable feelings, soaring, tumbling, freewheeling through an endless diamond sky. Man, there is so much more than just what's happening right here. I'm thinking of it when you stub your toe. God, it all becomes about the toe, right? It's like nothing else exists in the world but my toe. That part of it, you know, and, and you're dead there and you're focused and you're saying, my toe, I don't have arms, legs, hearts, low lungs, nothing. I'm only a toe. <laughs> oh, you know you're laughing because you just, you're in that truth, right? 
Somebody says something to you, it doesn't kind of hurt your feelings a little bit. You have no body, you have nothing. You just have the feeling, that hurt feeling, which you need to, what, if you choose? Acknowledge, Acknowledge it, yes. So here's some other ones. Uh, unbelievable sights, indescribable feelings. I've come so far, I can't go back to where I used to be. Take that one home. I've come so far, I can't go back there. Who wants to? Who wants to? When you start, your consciousness starts expanding. Oh, good thing I have to 11. Uh, um, uh, oh, no, actually, I don't. Kidding, kidding, kidding. New, newcomers, don't get scared. <laughs> it's 1045. Um, so a whole new world, every turn, a surprise. <laughs> She's a little uh, frisky today, isn't she? she she, I'm telling you, a whole new world every turn is surprised with new horizons to pursue. A whole new world that's where we'll be, a thrilling place. Did you, I mention the word thrilling? A wondrous place for you and me. <laughs> wow. Now here's what, that's a whole new Rita. So where was I? Let's, let, let's close this puppy up, shall we? So here we go. I have to tell one little story about Waimea, and it's very beautiful, about here's this idea of, but it's only me. I have to wait for the whole island to catch on before I really can do this. No, you can't. And don't be worried about who's picking up trash. You go pick it up. You go pick it up. You're that worried about it? You go pick it up. I promise you, you'll be the ripple. But that was, I digress, but not really. So I was on the path in Waimea by the cottages. We got away for a couple of days to oh, talk about you. And I mean, no, no, we got away a couple of days to refresh ourselves. And as I was running and then I stopped, I was cooling down after my five miles, just saying. Um, I saw these two beautiful, beautiful people. And they were on the beach, and they were, they were old. And I say older because they're moving very slow, or maybe they're just smart, you know, or maybe. And I'm watching them, and they're, they're an Asian couple, and they're just something like out of a beautiful picture. And I stopped, and I stared at them, and they're moving so slow. And I'm like, what are they doing? And they're reaching down, and they're picking up pieces of paper that was probably the size of my fingernail. And they're picking them up, putting them in the bag. That's an hour that they were doing just that. And they're, and I'm thinking to myself, they're making their whole new world and they don't care if any of you know it. They're picking up little pieces. I'm telling you, I have never seen pieces of paper that small. They were beautiful people. And there's a Kenyan proverb that says, little by little fills the pot. Small changes in our thoughts, behavior, words indicate progress. And so what I got from them, and I just, I just stood there and went, thank you for being my teacher. Thank you for being my teacher. Because I have a lot of energy. I mean, not that any of you would ever know that by here, but I have an incredible amount of energy. And so to watch them centered me. And they were, it was so zen. Because, did I mention how little those pieces of paper were? <laughs> Because I'm like, you know, let's clump them up. You know, everybody, call the surf riders. We're going, on, we're going in, you know. But, but, and they're like, no, no, no. I don't like the trash here, one by one. So it is a whole new world if we let it be. It is a whole new world, and it starts with us. And when I know that I am perfect, whole, and complete, what can stop us? Us. That's the only person that can stop me. So I'm asking everyone now to rise up, remember who we are, to make a decision 
The kingdom, this kingdom that we're building, it's not going to be built by chaos, even though it appears to be. Another quote from our master Jesus, the kingdom of heaven is within. Everything we need is within. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just taking you in. And as I take you in, I just remember who I am, and that is good, that is God. That is whatever name I choose to call myself because it's all names. And what I know is this is the day that we have come together on purpose and are rising in a consciousness that is absolutely brand new and that is individual for each and every one of us. But the one thing that I know is that each and every one of us can never be separate, ever, ever ever, ever. And whoever, whoever we come in front of and around, it is God meeting God, good meeting good. There's no way around it. So I bless the we. I bless the we that is of the one I. I bless it because I know that it is who and what I am. And that identity that is being searched for, seeking, I know that we have become finders today. We have found that kingdom, and that kingdom is within. And with that, I am truly grateful, truly grateful. As together, as one, we say, and so it is. Namaste. I'll do world a hundred thousand things to see. Hold your breath, it gets better. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Where so, are we? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're at I think we're at our divine beautiful giving. We time. are. Yeah. So thank you in advance for all the beautiful uh, wonderful, wonderful consciousness, consciousness that goes into our baskets today and the love and that goes behind it and knowing that it it's just helping the center to move forward into our next expansion, which is going to happen in 19 months, guys, we've got. So anyway, we're, get, we're, we're the place is becoming known. That's all I know. So we are looking for a new place within the next couple of years. So keep your eyes and ears open. We have a committee in place, but we like suggestions. So, yeah. So let's do our affirmation in the program. I freely and joyously give from the abundance and fullness of my overflowing wealth, knowing my gift goes with love as it touches and blesses Center for Spiritual Living Kauai, my life and the world. And so it is. Yay. Ooh, thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day. Thank you for
so right here and right now we are so grateful i am so grateful for all these beautiful gifts for the amazing consciousness that is behind these gifts and i know they go forth to heal and prosper not just csl kawaii but every life as they go forth into the world and so i know it's perfect and i know that this abundance comes back to those that give is a perfect circle of giving and receiving that's happening all the time i know that and i claim that so i'm so grateful and with that gratitude i just release this word release it as law as we affirm together with love and so it is thank you for this day spirit thank you for this day thank you for this day spirit thank you for this day this healing this healing this healing day this healing this healing this healing day I think we have a few kids, and George, who has our youth center today. Janice is here too, but she's not teaching today. <laughs> Yay! Uh, there they are. We have two youth people, youth, youth teachers. If anybody's interested in that, please let us know because we can use help. <laughs> well, okay, watch the speaker, George. Yeah. Well, we got a bunch of kids today, and they all were finding out. What does that say? Do not fear, for I am with you. That's right. So we did that. We also had a little game, and we had people go out of the room, and, and they give me something, and they hit it. And then when they came in, and we all thought about it, and intuitively, they were supposed to go and get it. Nobody did it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's intuitive. But these are your kids. <laughs> Well, what I know is that you're all intuitive and you're just growing into it, all right? Yay, <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's give them their beautiful, amazing affirmation blessing. You are amazing. You are perfect. You are magnificent. And we love you. Thank you, yay. <laughs> All right, and um, practitioners that are going to be serving today, uh, our congregation, Roseanne, anyone else? Rob is back there, Stephanie's here, and our other two reverends are gone this today, but anyway, we have Stephanie, Roseanne, just be careful with that. All right. <laughs> All right. So if, you, if something's come up for you, there's something you want to know more truth about and you would like to experience a spiritual mind treatment, well, we go to practitioners when we feel like we're needing to hear it. We're needing to hear it from someone else because maybe we can't believe in that moment. And a practitioner speaks not to your mind, but into the one mind, that thing that you want to create in your life, that thing that you need to know for yourself. And because they're speaking into the one mind, it's felt everywhere, right? So that's how it works. But um, so if there's something that came up for you or something you would like to know more truth about in your life, just allow them to um, nurture you. All right. And anything else that I'm thinking of? Is that it? I think that's good. And there's, oh, there is also a um, prayer request box in the back where we will do spiritual mind treatment for you in private if you have something. But please put your name on it because sometimes people don't put their names on it. And then when we pray, we like to use people's names. But it is confidential, so you don't have to worry that, that somebody that we're going to go telling people because everything that we do, we're, we're, we're confidential. We're like a lawyer, a doctor, or anybody else. We don't... We don't um, Share stories, okay? So and even you're though safe. it's called a request, it it's is. actually a done deal. Just right. so you'll know, yeah. a, a done, done deal. deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not requesting, hoping maybe that it's going to be possibly. It's it's done. Mm -hmm. It's actually done the moment you went like this. Just saying. Yes, because you've yeah, because you've claimed it, right? Absolutely. Asking it shall be. Okay. Are we ready? For Are we ready? Let's song? get on our feet. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. Mahalo Yay. and welcome. New people. 
Today is the day I will change my luck. I will find three pennies and they'll be heads up. I will walk like a queen in my tennies and jeans. Cause I know where I come from. From the stars and the sun, from the magical one. I am part of this thing called life, yeah. yeah. From the known to unseen and everything in between. I am part of this thing called life. I am part of this thing called life. Today is the day I'll remember to see. Only good, only God happening through you and me. I will not forget all the treasures to me Cause I know where I've come from From the stars, from the sun, to the magical one I am part of this thing called life, yeah From the known to unseen and everything in between I am part of this thing called life I am one with this thing called life Today is the day. So today's the day. Today's the day. This is the moment, the holy moment, the sacred moment, that moment called now that has never happened before and will never happen again the exact same way. So I am just so filled with gratitude that it is overflowing through me. It's overflowing for that Charles guy that does so much around here and did our announcements for us today and is now counting the blessings, the stewardship of that. And we also have a Malama team that just helps you, just greets you, moves you around so easily, effortlessly, and that's Stephanie, Walt, and who jumped in today? Marion. Marion. There we go. Good. I had one of those moments, and uh, that'll never happen again in the exact same way. And we had our Roseanne, our beautiful Roseanne as our practitioner, Rob Jones and Jonathan back there, making sure that people off the island, on the island, get to have that live, live thing. And if you notice the beautiful flowers that are next to me on the left, thank you, Arlena and Peter, who bring our flowers quite often. And in the bookstore, we have new people, Peggy. And then Malia's not here today, or Emmy, but Peggy is, and Roseanne, and those beautiful Science of Mind books that are there. So we have Barbara Davis, thank you so much as always, and Luis over there drumming his way through. There we go. And Sue Wood is back there with Charles, making sure that that beautiful collection is right there. And I also bless the beautiful, beautiful consciousness that is in this room right here and right now. And I know it is with gratitude that is the absolute of receivership. Every time that gratitude enters, receiving is always there. So I just say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to be here in this Ohana, the opportunity to remember who I am, the opportunity for us to come together to remember just how wonderful, how magnificent each and every one of us is. And with that, I am truly grateful. I release it as the law, and I let it go, I let it be, as together we say, and so it is. Today is the day I'll be more of myself, love my skin where I've been and everyone else. No more push, no more push, simply I go cause I know where I come from. From the stars and the sun, from the magical one, I am part this thing called life, yeah. From the known to unseen and everything in between, I am part of this thing called life. I am one with this thing called life. From the stars, from the sun, from the magical one, I am part of this thing called life. Yeah, from the known to unseen and everything in between, I am part of this thing called life. I am one with this thing called life. Yeah.